Yeah, kids these days, with their long hair. You can't even tell the boils from the ghouls. And when they do want a cut, they go to one of those fancy salons, like Jose Slaybert or the Dead Sassoon. It's enough to make you terror your hair out. <laughs> mm. I guess that towel was a little too hot. Still, I think it's a good look for you. Once it's grown out, I'm sure you'll love it. <laughs> Which brings to mind the young men in tonight's terror tale. They're about to try a new scare style as well. In a delightful little die job I call Doctor of Horror. Mortuary has a 40-year tradition of service to uphold. Peace of mind and serenity. A stolen body would be a scandal. It would destroy this fine institution. Do you understand that? Oh, yes, sir. Count on us, sir. No, I can't. You're useless low-life shitheads. If there's so much as a coffin handle missing in the morning, you are fired. Son of a bitch, who do you think you're talking to? Put his stupid ass on a slab. Richard, please try to remember. We need this shit. Yeah, okay, Charlie, don't, don't you have any ambition? What we need, my friend, is a break. You're not the police. No, but we can darn sure hold you till the real police get here. Let's go, old man. I can't believe this. We caught a body snatch. Shut up. How much do you boys make? Excuse me? How much? <laughs> not enough. That's what I thought! Now I will pay you 500 bucks if you will help me steal this corpse! <laughs> 500 bucks. Eat. You know, I thought we were going to a hospital or something. Yeah, right, Charlie. Hey, he said he was a surgeon, didn't he? Well, the man obviously works out of the home. I'm not allowed in hospitals anymore. Oh, boy. Which way? Oh, here. Uh, the wine cellar. Good, I could use a drink. <sighs> Jeez, Doc, what stinks? Oh, never mind that now. Here we are. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh. So, uh, just what are you going to do to her, Doc? Well, that, my boy, is beyond your imagination. Oh, there... There's nothing perverted about it, if that's what you're worried about. I'm searching for her soul. Oh, shit! <coughs> Dude, he didn't do nothing yet. <coughs> man, oh man. I'm convinced that the soul exists in a microscopic gland that's located somewhere along the spine. It is the last thing to die, releasing the life force days after conventional death. What does the gland look like? I haven't seen it yet. I've dissected dozens of corpses, and like some elusive prey, 
it vanishes. Just when I think I have it in my sights. When you find it, what are you going to do with it? Well, not that much. Just play God. Oh, I feel sick. Well, get over it, man, because this shit is amazing. If I can locate the soul, I can unlock the deepest secrets of the human condition. Why is one man a saint and another a monster? And can I change a monster into a saint by manipulating his essential metaphysical substance? <laughs> That's trippy, Doc. <laughs> um, is that it there? No! No. It will be incandescent, perhaps only a pinpoint of light. Even a skilled surgeon would miss it unless he believed it was there. Can it be that ethereal? Can it shift and move with the will of its own? Will it elude me forever? Oh, God. Oh, dear God. <sighs> So, the search continues. You still want that drink? <clears throat> uh, sure. Uh, got some work for you here. Give me another $500. Hello. <laughs> well, normally I could dispose of them when it suits me, but, uh... This freezer's been acting up. It's... It's 40 years old. And... Well, this is gonna cost you a hell of a lot more than $500. Oh. All right, Richard, how much? Well, a lot more. Uh, well, six, 600. Ha! Done. All right. There's an old well not far from here. It's ideal for disposing of um, things. OK. Uh, come on, we're going to need some tarp and some rope. Come on, come on. trying to steal their souls. How can the dead rest if they don't have their souls? Are you kidding me? Dude, Dr. Orloff's got an excuse for talking that shit. He's nuts. You're seriously stupid, but the last time I checked, you were saying. Don't you believe in souls, Richard? Don't you believe in anything? Yeah. I believe I got $1,000 right here, baby. Mwah! More money I've ever seen in my life. They're gonna be lost forever. No way home. Ah, oh, good lord. Yeah, that's plenty deep. Charlie! Hoist up one of them suckers. I'll be right there. Charlie! 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 Hoist! You know, I still don't feel good about this. Yeah, well, I do, Charlie. We just gotta keep our story straight, okay? We got a little drunk, we fell asleep. So it's exactly what that prick would expect us to do anyway. We are off the hook, baby. Yes, we are. Off the hook. Yes, we are. <laughs> Get up! Where is she? Who? Mrs. Myers. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, sir, I don't know. We were patrolling the halls all night. You're lying. No, sir. What's this? Drunk. You're drunk, and I'm going to lose a 40-year business because of it. You're fired. Get out of here now. We're fired, You're huh? fired. Fine, we're fired. You know what? We didn't want your shit job anyway. How'd you get that mud on your boots? How'd you get that tear in your jeans? Charlie, let's go. What have you two been up to? Charlie, let's go. You took her, didn't you? I'm going to the police. You stay right here. I'm going to the police. <sighs> Damn. Sir. Uh, sir? Sir, I just want to explain one thing, okay? One second. Sir, sir, could you stop running, please, sir? Sir, please don't go for the cops, sir. Can I just say one thing? Sir, please. Hello? Sir. Sir. Oh, sir. 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 Stop it. Get off me. Stop Get off me. Listen, you're killing him. Think I'm trying to do it. Sir. Listen, listen. Do you want to go to jail for murder? Huh? Is that what you want? He's still alive. Okay, all right, look. Look. Let's get him to Dr. Orloff, okay? All right? Yeah. He can take care of him. Yeah, Dr. Orloff take care of him real good. This wasn't very smart of you, Richard. You know what, Doc? I really don't need another lecture right now. I don't suppose you do. All right, you two wait in the hallway. I'll have more work for you. Yes, sir. I can't do this, Richard. I quit. What, security watchman? I think we already handed in our resignation. You know good and well what I'm talking about. I'm talking about working for that doctor. Why would you want to quit? We got a good thing going. Because it's wrong. It's wrong? Yeah, it's wrong. Charlie, we're carting around dead people. I don't think they care. Their souls care, Richard. Oh, God, would you please change the tape? Look, bud, I'm real sorry if you're having problems with our career move, but you'll quit when I tell you you can quit. Okay. Boys, come in here, hurry! All my years of searching, and I finally found it. The soul gland. And the moment I went to extract it, it disappeared. Then this shit heal up and dies on you, huh? Well, that's just plain rude. I don't fully understand why I found it now. But I did. Oh, I know why you found it. He was alive when you started to cut him up. You thought that you could get the soul gland out of dead people. But by then, it's already disappeared. See, souls don't just hang around. No, you were wrong about that. They go on to their just reward. That is, unless you steal them. Of course. You're absolutely right, Charlie. Positively brilliant. You know, you shouldn't steal souls, Doctor. It's all in the name of science, Charlie. You know, Doc, I think Charlie's right. I mean, about being wrong, doing what we're doing here. Uh, Charlie, why don't... It's all right, it's all right. Let's go way down in the truck. I want to try to explain to him what I mean. Go ahead. I'll be... I'll be right there. Uh... 
We got a Charlie problem here, Doc. Well, he's... he's... He's simple-minded and good-hearted, and that is a dangerous combination. Yeah, well, it's gonna get us busted. Just to ease his conscience? He must have a vigorous soul. You want to find out? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought you might like that idea. <clears throat> I tell you, this is a pretty interesting gig you got here, Doc. Um, how long do you have to go to school? Before you can start, uh, you know, cutting things up and stuff. Ah, career planning. Maybe. Told you I was ambitious. <laughs> Say ah. Uh. Okay. All right. That's it. I'm finished. Charlie. Dude, 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 listen. I'm real sorry I went off on you like that before. I just... Anyway, you want to quit working for Dr. Orloff, you go right ahead and quit. I've already quit. You want a drink? Have a drink. That's not all I'm going to do. I'm going to the cops. I'm going to turn myself in. There is no way that I'm going to live with this on my conscience. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. I knew you were going to do something stupid like that. That's why you're drinking ether. Still alive, just like you wanted. You gonna cut him up? <laughs> just the usual incision. Oh, don't be so disappointed. Once I remove the gland, you can cut to your heart's content. Soul, the stronger the light. I must preserve this immediately. Uh, Doc? You do what you want. You're my assistant now. lost souls you were worried about. Hello, Richard. Hey. Hey, Doc. Champagne's on me. Guess what we're celebrating. What are we celebrating? My new pay raise. Oh, 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 Richard, you're not getting a raise. Oh, yes, I am. All the deliveries I've been making, all the souls you've been collecting, and I've been so quiet about it so far.
What have you done with my soul? Pull back the skin and cut through to the muscle. Right, Doctor? Charlie, no! Charlie, what are you doing, man? Come on! Not much. I'm just going to play God. I'm gonna steal your soul, Richard. Oh, no! Charlie, come on! You don't want to hurt me. Come on, you're good! <laughs> on the contrary, Richard. I was good. You stole my soul. Remember? <laughs> Charlie, no! Charlie, no! Ah! Ah! Charlie. And you thought he was mixed up before. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I just got a card from Charlie. He went on to open a chain of private clubs for dismembers only. <laughs> oh, and Richard went into medicine, specializing in intensive scare. So, I've got a free chair. How about a little trim? I promise I won't take off too much. Shave in a haircut, two bits. <laughs>